All right, guys, we are back today. It's pretty chilly out this morning. There's a front getting ready to come through, so I'm hoping we have a freaking terrific day. I'm hoping we get some top of water. I'm hoping we get some Texas rig, but nonetheless, we're going to have fun. We're going to catch some fish, that's for sure. So, I will see you all on the water in about two seconds. I think this morning, I think we might do all right. We got overcast skies. Tomorrow's supposed to be raining. I think that's supposed to actually rain today. It's a little cooler. The mood is set. I just gotta get some of these big Beckys to come out and grab a hold of this whopper plopper this morning or a little later swim around grab a hold of the old trench hog i think i'm gonna be doing a lot of back and forth between the old trench hog and top water this morning it's just uh it just feels like a top water kind of day though you know you get these certain days that you feel like I'm going to throw this and I'm going to destroy the fish. Well, that's how I feel today on top water. I know I just did a video on top water that everybody absolutely loved, but today was not the plan of a top water. But whenever you got these moods and everything is just right like it is it's a top water morning absolutely could be wrong it might be a trench hog day Nice little guy, he's green green. I don't know if y'all can tell how green he is. Look, he's green. Beautiful fish. Ah, oh, I missed it. Lordy B. Come on, he's gonna come up and get it. I know he is. There it is. Oh, that's a good one too. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right, buddy. So let me get this soul boy straightened out here. So I was just telling y'all, the mood is right. Everything is perfect today. Overcast skies, it's cooler. Tomorrow's about to rain. Today's gonna be a top water day, but I've already caught one this one on the top water, and I caught the one I caught just a minute ago on trench hog. So I don't know which it's gonna be, but I know they're hungry, I know they're chasing. I don't know if y'all can see. Let me turn it on my GoPro. I don't know if y'all can see down her mouth or not. She's got two little antennas hanging out of there. She's hungry and she's she's after it. We're gonna get her back in. Or him. Him, her, I don't know. Go on, Fred. Cooking now. 
All right, guys, an hour later, I'm finally back in it. I had a, a mishaps with my braid. Long story short, I backlashed the crap out of it and got one, got one, but guys, I, I backlashed it and it was so freaking bad. All right, so back to what I was saying. So I backlashed my top water rod so bad. It was horrible. So it took me an hour to get everything untangled. I ended up just saying, forget it and cut everything off. So I just threw it in the back, get home later and fix it. So now I'm throwing, which is not ideal. This is my uh, crankbait, chatterbait setup. And it's got like 17 pound fluoro on it. So it's, it's not really what I want. Not really what anybody would want. But we're just gonna keep on hammering it out. All right, guys, I want to take just a second. I want to wish Landry a happy fifth birthday. He watches just about every one of my videos. His dad is a real good buddy of mine. So, Landry, I just want to tell you, happy fifth birthday, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> right at the front of the boat. Right at the front. Ah! Come on now. That ain't good. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it ain't good. I'm gonna go ahead and pause it for a second because I got an issue going on. All right, so after another near death experience, hook this guy right at the boat. <laughs> And then he didn't just, I guess, didn't want the hooks taken out of him. And he tried to jump back in. I was scared to death. I thought I was going to have a hook in my finger. Don't want that. Then he just jumped right into me and was hooked to my stomach and the GoPro. But decent little fish. He's got something going on with his tail right here. Right there by my finger out. I don't know what that is. Maybe something to try to get a hold of him or something. I don't know. But it's been a rough morning. I knew he was on there. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Threw my daggone trench hog. 
All right, guys, it's been a little slow this morning, after the morning. But now, it seems like it's starting to pick it back up with just a little bit throwing a Texas rig. Uh, saw a little pound and a half, two pounder. I ain't going to complain at all. Ha <laughs> little fella tore that thing up. He hit it and took off. Just a little fella. But he acted like he was a big old fella. Doing big things, buddy. Oh, as soon as it hit the freaking water. <laughs> Guys, as soon as I hit the water, just like you all seen, kaboom, it just destroyed the plopper. Get out of here. I believe that one startled me a little bit. All right, we caught some fish. Not monsters, but we did catch fish and that's all that matters. I have fun catching dinks. I have fun catching medium sized bass. I have fun catching huge bass. But I hope you enjoyed everything that you've seen. Make sure you click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Guys, you all wouldn't believe how much it actually helps me. So please, please, please do that. But with that being said, guys, we'll see you all the next time.